Howdy folks, how are you? Today we're gonna to be kind of showcasing and highlighting this US General Series 3 tool cabinet end locker. This is the new series of tool cabinets by Harbor Freight in the US General line, and this is the end locker for that. Now they do make an end cabinet, don't get this confused with that. The end cabinet only goes from here down, and it's a little bit smaller. This is a full, big old bonking freaking ding-donger locker. So first let's talk about setting it up. Um, this is again is another product that uh, Harbor Freight will just load into your vehicle for you. Um, I didn't get any footage this time of uh, loading the thing into my car. I was just busy helping them load it into it. Um, but they had a big scissor jack and they just scooted into the back of my SUV. It's not super heavy or unwieldy. I wouldn't put it out of the question to say that a, a man of a decent size could do this by himself, unboxing and setting this up. I had my friend Randy around, so I had him help me. Um, we just threw it up on the Daytona jack I got and we threw a piece of uh, board underneath it. Just jacked this up and scooted it under. We first tried with the, uh, the US the, or the, uh, the Pittsburgh hydraulic uh, cart. That didn't work, so we used the jack to get a little bit lower. The cart was just a little bit too high. But all you do is this sets in, and here at this little junction right there, let me zoom in for you. At this junction right here, there's two like brackets on the end that go over this lip of this bottom cart. And then inside, there are screws that screw in from the inside to that side. There's two screws, or four screws, I think. We only used two. And you can see those screws here in the barrel. I think they're like 10 or 11 millimeter screws and those just kind of secure it on to the side. Now as for the side locker itself, it seems pretty solid. It's not 10 gauge metal or anything, but like, look. That didn't, that didn't dent it at all. Now before we hop inside this thing, let me show you the one kind of con that I noticed about this. It's not really a con, but you could nitpick and say it's a con. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see this. So, here at the bottom, everything here is like flush. Right? It's flush, it's flush, it's flush, it's flush, it's flush. And then when you get to here, it's like, there's like a gap there. And the reason that gap is there is because you're, whether you have the top hutch like a complete psychopath or if you have the sensible option, which is this top cabinet, um, either way, they do sit inside, like recessed in this little lip back here. So this is gonna sit back a little bit further than this surface. So it's, so it's flush down here, but up here, it's just not perfectly flush. Um, and this, like this angle up here doesn't match this, like this bevel, like this one's longer and it's just a little bit off kilter, but you know what, <sighs> who cares? As long as you didn't get the top hutch, like who cares? Okay, now let's open this thing and let me show you what I got inside of here and why I got this thing. The main reason I got this, also it does have locks. You can lock it. Uh, I don't know what that's gonna do. <laughs> Anybody with a, a a $2 Harbor Freight pry bar can come in here and pop the lock open. But the main reason I got this was for PPE stuff. So when you have PPE like glasses, like this stuff laying around, let me get a thing out like this. If you look at this and you look at this closely, right? You can see a layer of dust on it. Now it's not dirty, it's just dusty, right? So it's clean now. The reason it's dusty is because it's sitting out in an open environment on my shelves usually, right? All my PPE stuff was over there. Now I have it in this, and once I clean this stuff off and get the dust off and put it in here, it's now enclosed. So if you're looking for somewhere to put your PPE stuff, also uh, PPE is like the opposite of poo poo -y. So this is a great shelf for that, right? So it's gonna keep everything clean. Um, it's also um, a great option for anything else like that you wanna keep somewhat clean, right? Now, some of this stuff is just kind of thrown in there. Like, I was like, well, we got the PPE stuff in there. Let's put some other PPE stuff like gloves in here. Um, I got more gloves down there like that. There's more gloves. And this is just like a thing that I bought at Heart Afraid. I just kind of sat in there. Um, and then the bottom has this really cool drawer. And in the drawer, I'm just, what I'm starting to do, what I'm keeping in here, what I'm starting to collect in here is like stuff for my grinders, lap disc, grinder disc, uh, or cutoff wheels, uh, sawzall blades, jigsaw blades, any kind of like bladed thing that would be a disposable item is gonna go in here. So that's a pretty cool drawer for that. But in total, you got one, two, three, four, and a sliding drawer right there. Let's get you some measurements here. The depth of the drawers is right about 20 and a half inches to this inside lip here. Um, the height of the unit from if you have this on casters, the height of the total unit off the ground is gonna be right at the top of your toolbox, which is about 69 and three quarters. We'll call it 69. <laughs> and then the width of each drawer is gonna be 
<laughs> we'll cut that out of there. 22 inches. So that from inside edge to inside edge, you made 22 inches. And I don't believe, oh yeah, these shelves are, if you look here, if you look in the back here or anywhere. So you got these slats on the back here that the little hangers, that these uh, metal things hang on to hang the shelves. If we go from the back of the drawer to the front of the drawer, here's the inside lip. There's numerous spots where you can put this shelf. So this is the hanger for this shelf, but you can move it up and down if you wanted. One last thing I really like about this is you don't have to lock this. If you just push this closed, right? It's like magnetic, right? It's got a little bit of a, you got to give it a little bit of a tug. And it, it, it magnetically closes. I don't know where the magnets are. I, oh, maybe they're here. There's one here. There's one at the bottom there. All in all, it fits in great in here. I got another like mechanics tool card over there in white as well. Guys, here soon I'll be doing a, a, like a full tour of my toolbox. And that'll probably be the last like video I can milk out of the US General Series 3 stuff. Um, I've, put, I've made three videos so far. So that'll be the last one. Um, so if you're into toolbox stuff, probably don't subscribe. I'm not the toolbox guy. I'm more of the car project guy. You can look at my car projects that I do. And if you like those, you can subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, throw them in the comments down below. I'm not afraid to come out here with a tape measure and measure something for you if you need me to measure it. Um, I've done that before numerous times for people. Um, uh, hit the like button if you like the video. Just, you know, please. Um, yeah, guys, that's the end of the video. As always, thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Bye.